Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present about my rewritten ending of a story, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Here is the rewritten ending. Finally, the White Witch failed. The army troops were happy and excited about winning her. They cheered hooray and set up the campfire for the celebration. They cheered, but didn't expect this hybrid white witch could reborn after she did and erase her power. She came back to life with furious. She condensed her power into a great ball and released it. That destroyed Narnia. Aslan, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy were caught to the witch's house. They were locked in a big ballroom. As they were distressed, the door opened. The white witch came in with two lions. They were Aslan servants before. The white witch told them these two lions would kill them if they couldn't wake them up from the curse. As she finished her conversation, she made a sock puppet of herself and sat down. The sock puppet replaced white witch to declare that if anyone did not give in to her, she would give them cruel punishment. On the other hand, the lions started attacking them. Although Aslan was the Lion King, he couldn't stop them. He tried his best to dissolve their attack, but that didn't work. Those cursed lions pounced on them. From long and loud screaming to intermittent entreat, Aslan, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy died. The white witch looked at the scarlet blood on the floor and smelled with satisfaction. The white witch took out a bottle. Five ghosts that unjustly got out from their dead bodies and were sucked into the bottle. The witch put the bottle on her throne. She was a scientist woman. She stood up, folded her sword finger and middle finger together and muttered the spell. She rose a blizzard. The blizzard covered the whole Narnia. The spring rotated to the forever winter again. The earth that was full of fatality became wilted again. After a hundred of years, the white witch released the departed spirit and absorbed them. Her power improved again. She needed that power because she had an another war with the game world. There was an enormous crack with the game world. She didn't want to lose because she wanted to keep her throne. She wanted to kick out her enemies in a second. The next day, as the white witch was mediating, the warrior from the games appeared. She watched the warrior approaching. She handed a dark wood made staff. She drew an enormous magic circle and dropped a drop of blood on it. Of course, that worked. They were turned into stone. The white witch thought that she should increase her treachery. So she got Lucy's mind and found out where the passage is. She went in and entered a true world, a blue planet, Earth. The white witch overwhelmed her haughty and found a job by conspiracy to occupy the Earth. Finally, she got a chance. She cast a spell over the earth and threatened humans. The humans were forced into the threatening, so they became the servants of the white witch at last. Maybe someone could save them. The humans were looking forward to this day. Thank you for listening to my presentation.